Last time on XCOM 2. Ooh, look at that little alien thing that inside. Klar, hey, hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Kind of in a sticky situation because we only have one pip on the Avatar project before it kicks back into danger mode. So what I've decided to do is we're actually going to head over to the research lab and encrypt this alien research data pad. Proceeding as planned, Commander. I hate changing on our research currently, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. I'll direct our efforts towards the new research project Our scientists are so slow though, we don't have enough of them. I'll send word. And we only have 10 intel, so we're going to go over here and scan this uh, set of crates for intel. Everyone's recovered, though, on the bright side. Actually, we have a new grill op to go do. So, this is the one I wanted to counter. I'm perfectly happy with this. Because all this does is reduces the retaliation counter by two weeks. Anyways, let's go over there and do that, I guess. I don't know what this hidden thing is here, but... I'll take it. We need the scientists. We need to counter whatever this is. I'm happy with all of it. Alright, so who to take this time? I do probably... I don't know. I feel like I should really start focusing more on the A-team a bit. Because I feel like I'm training everyone, but at the same time, I'm kind of... ignoring a lot of the people who need kills and such to move forward. Um, I may not take Kale this time, honestly. Hold on, who did it say we were going to run into on this mission? I love the Shadow Chamber, it's amazing. Uh, an Archon, a Muton, Heavy Lancer, Heavy Mech, Elite Trooper. So, we're going to run into one enemy total who is mechanical. We, I do want a healer along for the ride, however. I don't need both Mercy and Keys on the same mission. I also probably don't need to bring two snipers. Hmm. I like everyone so much. All right, we'll remove Mercy for this mission, for this singular mission. And we'll throw on... I don't know. Oh, Tavio's still not healed yet, and Alexander's still not healed yet. Hmm. That's kind of problematic. Because I don't have anyone else with aid protocol. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to take the A-team this time. It's unnecessary, I know. But we don't have anyone to go around healing. So I need to make sure everything goes according to plan. We should bring a med kit, though. I guess I can just throw it on Soleil, I guess? I, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what I want to do here exactly. Alright, let's get headed out. No specialist for this mission. Um, which does kind of suck, but look at all these grenades we have. I can't argue with the amount of grenades we have, especially since they can crit now. So let's go! XCOM! It is a protect the device mission, though. So we will need to be advancing fairly quickly to get to said device. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. A hacker working for the resistance installed a data tap along the advent network in this area, and the data they're retrieving is critical to the aliens' latest operation. Recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device. That data is too valuable to lose, so we're moving in to secure the area. Eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need nearby? To the area and secure the device at all costs. It's like halfway across the map. What do you mean nearby, Bradford? 
I hate how opening this door is gonna cause so much of a disturbance. <laughs> What? Where? Uh... Okay, we can see a turret. I guess we should start with a battle scanner, like always. Did you just throw that? I don't know what is happening with this mission. It is super buggy. She just threw the battle scanner on top of herself. Now we can see it. I don't know what's going on anymore. Getting on top of this roof could be really good for you. Moving out. Affirmative, moving out. Closing on target position now. Heading out. Haven't seen any aliens yet. Aside from the turret, of course. We can't get any closer to the turret either. Its sight cone goes through the wall. Oh, and we can't go in through this way either. Because we'll make noise. You know what? Oh well, who cares? Not a problem. They've got our position. I honestly don't really care at this point. Hail? Wait. Oh, wow, you can see it. Okay, I'll take that. Nine damage. Hard target, minimal damage. Turret down. All right, that's slightly Stop less enemies to worry about, but we do have to hurry. Because these devices will be destroyed if we do not get there quickly enough. Heading out. Los gates. Overwatch. Going alerta. Okay. I uh, didn't see anything. Let's head out. Moving to position. Nothing yet. They're not even shooting at the device. Absolutely. Unless they are and it's still buggy and just not showing us that they are, which would suck, but it happens. Stepping off. Oh, we found something. Mimic Beacon Day. I completely forgot. Uh oh. Yep. It is time for that beacon. There's not a whole lot of enemies on the map, so I don't have any regrets about using it either. Also, lots of grenades. A lot of them, all, as always. Shredded armor. Keys. You have one Mimic Beacon. Who has the other? You do. That's fine. Climb up on this rooftop. Yeah, good positioning. All right. Why not? Miss. That is not good. Another miss. Who's left? Get it together. You are. Maybe a grenade just to guarantee it. I don't feel bad about using it. 
And Mimic Beacon. Back here. I believe in War of the Chosen they fixed the Mimic Beacons up a little bit. So that they're not so, uh... Attractive. And I believe they'll only go after them if they are like in half cover out in the open or something. Like they still adhere to the normal aggro tables, unlike here where they just only care about it, you know? So that's done with. Sure thing. Now we need to focus down this Archon. Kale should have no problem finishing off the Muton if possible. Let's see your chances. 97% on the Archon. Not going to miss out on that chance. We can get even more damage with Deadeye. Nice shot. 10 damage on the Archon. Dodge Graze. No, a crit. Okay, then. This is strange. This is going a little too well. I don't like it. It scares me. There we go. That makes me feel more comfortable. We could face off, but it depends on how many people are left, because we could just take them out, possibly. Missed shot guarantees a kill with you. X-ray neutralized. Run and dry and I move. Pistol shot. All right, got it in the bag. Target neutralized. Movimento. Eseguo. Bestätigt. Überwachung läuft. Car blew up for no reason. I wonder how many of those Andromedon things we're gonna run into. Because we only saw one so far on the last mission, but... I mean, we're not going to run into one here, obviously, because the mission counter didn't say so. But... Have they even shot... No, they haven't even shot it yet. Is it possible that they could have to look for the... ...device before they can start shooting it? I don't know, because usually I start these missions and then they're immediately shooting at the device as I start it, so... I'll keep you up here for a little while. I think... You might get some good shots from up there. Not entirely sure, but... Okay, we do still have battle scanners, but... We've gotten so close, I don't think we're gonna need to use them. We can. Okay, wherever they are, they are either upstairs in the house we're at, or they're inside the other house, or behind it. So you're definitely going to have to move forward. Why aren't they attacking the device? This is really weird. There we go. Oh no, it saw us. They were upstairs. I don't even know how you saw that, Soleil, but... Wow, that was a lot of misses. That's fine. Alright, uh, a lot of us aren't in cover, though. Ma certo. Vediamo il bersaglio. There's the device. Okay, Bradford. 
We could blow this guy out of his, uh... Let's try for that. Lanciata. Double grenade there. Maybe that guy will fall through the floor. And he did. And we have clear vision on the device. Good. Alright. Let's use run and gun. Actually, I'll save you for last because you have the Mimic Beacon. I know I'm pretty dependent on the Mimic Beacon, but that's... It's just a really good item. How can I not be? Well, that made for a significantly worse shot. Miss Stone Cold. I'd love to get you to a spot where you could see them. Like up here. I think we're going to use the Mimic Beacon here too. Because those are both stun lancers and they can just remove someone from the mission. And I don't like that. So let's run here. What if we throw the Mimic Beacon in the pool? What is this guy doing on... Like, he looks like he's ready to dive. Or she, I guess. There you guys go. Have fun with that. We haven't run into that last heavy mech yet, though. So I'm... Waiting on that. Well, that was easy. Oh, she got a free action from Hair Trigger. In that case... Kein Problem. I don't think hair trigger or hair trigger has ever activated before, honestly. A miss. It's okay, we covered that. So the only things we haven't run into that the uh, shadow chamber said that we would is the mech. And I think I just found him. Did he miss? I didn't even know it was possible to miss the device. Kale. That was so far off. That wasn't even close. We're also flanking him, so no need to worry. Okay, so... I'd like to save our grenades if possible. Keys. You may be able to one-shot him. Or he can just spin in place and avoid the entire thing. Shot failed to connect. That can happen too. Through ammo fast. So wait, if you suppress someone... No. Okay. Good job. Onyx. Wonderful. Okay. Lured him in with a mimic beacon. That worked out well. But we're, we do have to rush. Kind of. There's no hurry because it has a lot of health, the objective, but at the same time, we don't want to just sit around and wait for something bad to happen. Scanning. There we go. So now they can't attack this turn. You tried. So did you. Oh, glad I set this up. We're gonna have to be careful using our grenades in there, however. We don't have anyone to hack it like we normally do. But, we do have blue screen rounds, so that's a relief.
So let's do this. Get his armor down. As well as kill the soldier. <coughs> Excuse me. That removes his overwatch also. Sure thing. How can you not see him? Whatever. Wait, how do we not have vision? What is going on? Can no one actually see the mech right now? I'm on it. There we go. So we can also launch an EMP, but I'm afraid that the EMP would just destroy the device. So we gotta keep that away. Grenade! I don't know what that was outside, but it was affected. All right, how about you two? What can you two see? Kale can see the robot. She can't. Target down. Hostile terminated. Oh my goodness. These hit chances right now. I'll just overwatch. Might as well go for a dead eye. Hit. Wasn't enough, though. Wasn't quite enough. We have a running gun left with you. Okay. Target down. Good mission, everyone. 20 minutes. Oh, wait. That's not every enemy on the map. Here. This suddenly makes me wish I had saved that EMP grenade. But it's okay. So we can one-shot that mech over there if we want. Can you see any of them? She cannot. That's a bummer. All I can do is throw her on long watch and hope that they come out here to fight us. Onyx, there's not a whole lot of full cover for you around here. Except inside. On the move. If we take care of at least one of them, it's a significant uh, reduction of how dangerous things are. And now we can't see anything. So that sucks. They don't have eggs. I hate to say this, but we might be pretty dependent on Overwatch this turn. There's no full cover to hide behind out here. And in general, just not any good places to position. I'm on it. Hit. Miss. Hit. Target down. Not quite. So at least we got the heavy mech down. This other one for sure is going to launch missiles at us. But I'd be happy to see... Or not. It just chose to die, I guess. It, 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 it likes to live dangerously. It knows its mission. Okay, then. Strange. Very strange. Rockets away. Rocket launcher. Pistol. <laughs> Twenty six minute mission. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. I'm not like I'm not scared of what shows up on the battlefield. I'm scared of what shows up on the map. Like we have to hurry. We cannot let the Avatar project kick in as fast as it wants to. You know what? I think today might be a two mission episode. I think today might be a two mission episode. 
Because what? That was 26 minutes? I can't release that as an episode. Operation Shackled Paramore. Completed. Average enemies killed per turn. One. <laughs> that was with a 50% successful shot percentage, too. I was actually prepared right at the end there for it to launch the missiles and give us some minor injuries. That's why I grouped everyone up together is because, honestly, with the mechs, if you get them to shoot the missiles at you, it can be slightly better. Because the missiles do so much less damage than their guns. So if they hit you with the missiles, you'll only be out for like three, five days, maybe. Well, but now no one's out at all, but I don't think we got... No, no promotions. Like no promotions. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to. Oh, that would have ended the game. Excellent work. That would have ended the game. We just countered a major breakthrough in the Avatar project. Oh, I'm so glad we did that. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, let's continue doing what we're doing decrypting this alien data pad and getting all this intel. So we were getting intel over here before. I just really hope that Avatar project does not kick in. I do not have the resources to counter it right now. Strategic resource located. Okay, 43 intel. That is not enough. Let's go back and scan for more intel. Setting course for West Asia. You know, it would actually be faster... No, it would be the same amount of time. No, it would be faster to make contact in the US. Because this costs 80 intel, and link distance to nearest radio relay. I don't know if... Hmm. I don't know if that'd be faster or slower, honestly. Still a shorter distance, regardless. So let's scan. Dark event complete. Yeah, it's fine. Proving ground experimental ammo complete. Venom rounds. That's cool, but I don't... Is that just like a poison round? Or what? Because poison in next column seems next to useless. Just saying. So if we keep researching these, we'll get different types of ammos, is what I think it's telling us. Like, if, if we went for another round of research, we'd get some other kind of ammo. Um, how much do these spider suits cost? One Illyrium core, ten alien alloys, ten Illyrium crystals. That's a lot of crystals, though, just to make a suit, so I don't think I want to quite yet. Let's go for one of these experimental grenades, I suppose. Or you know what? Let's get all the ammo researches, I guess. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. It doesn't cost anything. Like I'm gripping my chest right now, being like, oh my goodness, I hope this campaign isn't ended by I do not think I could have predicted. 143 this intel, let's go now. Though it is intriguing. We have 204 intel. Let's go. Setting course for the West African sector. Attempting to establish local we got a mission. Contact. For the Resistance Council. Whoops, I forgot to research anything. Hold on, let me make sure I put on a research before we go. Commander, the lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. I know, I know, I know. Providing us with a directive as soon as Chill out, all right? Commander. It's fine. It's fine. 
Let's research this tiny data pad, because I want the intel from that, too. Once again, just in case. Oh, yeah. Council mission. Uh, we get a sharpshooter, and it's just a rescue of VIP from an advent vehicle. Uh, there's gonna be an Archon, a Shield Bearer, an Elite Trooper, Elite Officer, Heavy Mech, Viper, and Muton. Not a whole lot of electronic enemies, but... At least I know what we're up against. The weird thing is, for the majority of them, like, the strategy doesn't really change. But it's nice to know what I'm going to be up against. So, since this is Protect or Rescue the VIP, I'm actually gonna take Miss Flank off this mission. Because it's something where we constantly need to be moving forward. And instead, I am going to take Otavio. Because I was going to take him anyways. So we do have those Venom rounds now. These rounds do extra damage and can poison any organic targets they hit. So these rounds are better against organic enemies. Which is something I didn't think would happen. Or we'd get. So here's what we're going to do. Going to give you the med kit, obviously. And... As for... We have so many grenades, I'm not worried about not having enough. Who should take those Venom rounds, though, is my question. If Keys took them, that'd be some... Wait, can you take two different types of ammo? I don't think so, but... No, okay. <laughs> I was about to say that could get pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I could just not give you a grenade. I could live with that. So we have that going for us. I'm gonna make utility items available real quick. Because if I do that, I can give you the blue screen rounds. And second mimic beacon can go to... Alright, well, this is a weird setup, but I guess it works. Multiple blue screen rounds. A lack of grenades, kind of. We're missing a few grenades. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, we still have a lot of grenades. Never mind. We're fine. I'm trying to think if there's anyone who doesn't have an attachment, though. I think I've kind of decked out everyone's guns so far. But do we have better attachments we could replace other ones with, is the question. Actually, no, you're missing a slot. There's an auto-loader uh, for a free reload, but... It's personally not worth it, I don't think. Or what if I gave Kale the... You know what, I'm gonna give Kale the acid rounds instead of the blue screen. Because we're going to be fighting a lot of organic enemies. And I can give you the blue screen rounds. Alright. I think that's good. Let's head out then. These missions have been going really smoothly. As long as we can keep up on the tactical map, we'll be okay. Spokesman just sent word of a friendly VIP recently captured by Advent who's being moved through this area on one of their transport vehicles. We're heading in to get a drop on the transport and free that captive. Expect hostile resistance. Secure the area and clear out anyone who stands in your way. All right, Operation Stormfather, let's go. Save father from the storm. I don't know what that means. Glad to have Otavio back, though. It's it's nice to have someone who has three med kits with them. Because med kits you can use to heal minor injuries, you can use them to bring people back. The only thing that sucks is Otavio does not have 
revival protocol because I took Haywire protocol instead, so. We have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all really don't contacts. want anyone to be injured. All right, everyone. Moving to position. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no! Really? Come on. That single civilian down there. I hate you. Why am I even trying to save you as XCOM? Ugh, that sucks, but... It is what it is. Might have to use running gun on this first turn. Sadly, inside, there's not a lot of full cover either. There's not a lot of full cover in this entire area. Just kind of have to deal with the fact yeah, that... We may not be able to kill all of them. Okay, that's one. By one, I mean one enemy hit. He's thrown to a frenzy, I don't care. Not a problem. He spotted us, me. doesn't matter. Crit, enemy down. Only the best. All right. Heading out. So next we can... I kind of want to throw a plasma grenade down at that guy over there, but it might be better just to shoot him. Could launch another grenade for more guaranteed damage. Or we could just try and shoot the Archon. Kale can't see anyone right now. As much as I wish he could. I hate grouping up all of our soldiers like this, but it kind of has to happen. Alright, so first off, lightning hands. Five damage. It does do a bit of extra damage with the new pistol, but... Oh, and he's poisoned. So if I face off and hit... He'll die next turn. So he's no longer a warrior. I'm not sure if the organic rounds are really all that worth it, but... For now, they're doing a good job. Question is, do I really want to use a, uh... Mimic Beacon this early? I don't think I do. None of us have full cover, but there's only one enemy left. Going to run and gun down here. Love every time it's like, there's another one and another one. The Archon's just like freaking out. So close. We were close. At least I can get you away from everyone else, I suppose. Absolutely. Maybe he'll just run away. So poison only does one damage. But that was enough. Sadly, we didn't hit the Archon with a poison bullet, or else he'd be down right now. Oh, please do blazing pinions. No, he's gonna hit her. He's gonna hit her. She's not unconscious. I can be thankful for that. Let's not even... Like, I'm not wasting 
time with that. We need to extract that uh, guy by the car over there. So let's do a gremlin heal. That should bring her back up to full. On the move. Got some advent here. Another round of advent soldiers. Protecting that car. I'm not going to bother with trying to mind mind jack is that what I'm trying to say I don't know what it's called I'm not going to bother trying to I want to get rid of this cover Boom! jack into any of their systems we're gonna use a mimic beacon this turn because the enemies are far too distant to do anything and I mean for us to do anything So you run. Who has the other Mimic Beacon? She does, but she can't throw it. Okay. So, Case, you're going to be throwing the Mimic Beacon this turn. Kale. Go for the shot on this guy. Should I move you forward? No, I want you to shoot him. Not a crit, but that'll do. Poisoned. Not enough to kill. Coming up. A hundred percent chance to kill. Look at the blue screen rounds coming out of the gun. I just noticed they have an effect to them. Like a little particle effect. We could try to haywire the mech. Taking control. Which would be fun to own a mech, but right now our chances aren't too good. It hasn't been shot with a blue screen round. We could just disable it though. I'll try, why not? Didn't work. Figured. It's okay though. He gets a tiny buff. Alright, and you don't activate his Overwatch either. So hopefully he goes after the beacon. That is a weird sight line. Listen, I just want to get that guy out of the car. That's, that's all I want, okay? Yep, he's going after it. Soldier hopefully moves up too. He did. All right, well now we have four enemies to take care of. It's not going to be impossible or anything, but I think I really want to focus on these guys first and the Muton because the Muton can blow us all off the roof and I don't like that. <laughs> really not a fan of that. I'm trying to remember is the blue screen rounds though. Soleil has them, but I'd almost prefer she use grenades. 11 to 13 is not bad, plus she would shred. But we could get her in a better, slightly better position first. So there's that. I kind of want Onex to follow up on that, but we have a lot of options here. I do want to kill the Muton or the Viper also.
The problem is the Muton's kind of in a shitty place to deal with. So that's not a kill. We could shoot that Viper down there twice and maybe kill it. It's probably immune to poison, so I'm not keen on that plan. Octavio. You have a grenade, don't you? In that case, could you maybe hit the Muton? No. Line of sight won't allow it. Alright, well, Onyx. Uh, trying to decide what's the best plan here. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a plasma grenade inside of here. Fire in the hole. Now they're both on the same level. And open to shots. Especially from Kale. Question is, who's going to do what right now? I kind of want Keith to go around this corner and make sure this guy can't flank us, but that's not going to happen. So... Kale can't see the Muton. Viper it is. I think one of our rangers has blue screen rounds. Yeah, it's Keys who has the blue screen rounds. So hold on, here's what we'll do. We'll take Mercy and move her over here. So she can see the Muton. Got it. We'll take you. I would like a better shot if possible. Plus full cover. Sadly, I don't think there's any place that's going to give us all those benefits in one. Sure thing. Come on. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Not even close. We could try to... No. No. I'm just going to... Move all the way back. What's a good spot? I'm gonna move downstairs here, and then I'm gonna aid protocol Keys because she's not in a good spot. Oh, and you can still move. Perfect. I don't want you being too close to Onyx. Positive. That was not a fun shot to miss. Aid protocol, please save us. Yes! Woo. Okay, we're good. We're good. Starting to get cooked. I know you are, Keys. We're, we're coming. Don't worry. In fact, it's going to be your job to take this guy out. Or is it? Hold on. That depends. Who can take out that other guy over there? I don't think anyone can directly flank him, so it's better we just reveal his cover. On the move. 
I love how we're all just running right next to the mech. He's like, what is going on? Aren't you guys supposed to be, like, afraid of me? It's like, no. <laughs> Alright, Keys. You have the blue screen rounds. That's right. I'm all out. Oh! Promotion. I'm on it. Okay, that was a mess. That was a big mess. <laughs> But I think we're going to be alright. We definitely need to book it, though. It's killing time. Bad for an angriff. Not a problem. Scan a gazette. Alright. Let's go. get going here. Everyone, let's take a long, good Roger sprint. Bene. No need to ask twice. Go, go, go. Bestätigt. Überwachung läuft. On my way. So we can hack this and get him out. Breaking their security. Or her, I don't know which it is. It's a sharpshooter. Uh I should probably have Otavio do this. His hacking skill is way higher. Sadly he doesn't have the mine thing on him, I don't think. So yeah, let's have Otavio hack the Vandor. Because for some reason Vandors are hackable in this universe. Don't question it. So where's extraction? Oh, yeah, that's pretty far away. Okay, let's. Well, that's okay. Heading out. Arma pronta. I'll give it a shot. Sadly, I didn't keep the skull jack on you. Delays the current dark event projects by two weeks. Avenger scanning times reduced by 50% for four weeks. I think I'd try for this. This could save us a lot of heartache. Come on. Yeah. Got the door open. Where's the VIP? Oh, is it because we can't see them yet? Sure thing. We have the there they are. To deliver. Menace one five status confirmed. <gasps> VIP is in tow. Proceed it's to night. The, the soldier we lost on the UFO mission. Not the UFO mission, but when the UFO attacked us. But we're also in a UFO, so. I don't know. I don't know what I'd call it. UFO Already defense. There. Yeah, that one. On the move. Knight, why can't I just like hand you a gun? <sighs> Reinforcements on top of it all. Dennis one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Let's try and ambush those reinforcements if possible. Who has the last Mimic Beacon? It makes me glad I didn't use it, but... I want to try and go this way. On my way! On your order! 
Vado. Moving to position. Just trying to get everyone to run as far as they can, as fast as they can. Got it covered. Den hole ich mir. Kein Problem. All right, and a mech and two stun lancers. There's still another pod somewhere up there in the upper left corner or upper right corner of the map. We still have grenades left. We can still do this. Onyx, where are you even aiming? Come on, I, I mean, like, I know. I, I get it. I know we have bad days, but that was like a whole new level of I don't even care. I'm not trying. <laughs> so we could launch an EMP bomb, although that would only really benefit us for one person. Wouldn't be a bad idea. It's a lot of mechanical damage. So I'm going to go for it. Alright. Salel, you're gonna have to get a little farther Not back. Type, so that this won't hurt you. Gonna launch a plasma nade over here. Granata in arrivo. Should take care of them. Good. Keys, you do have I don't wanna move up too far as a thing, because I know. For a fact, could use hail of bullets. No, let's just do our good old fashioned pistolier act. Never mind. Bad idea. Come on, Terrible idea. Hard target, minimal damage. Face off, I guess. Forgot how much armor he still had on him. It's okay, though. Keys can take care of it. Tavio, I swear if you miss this. Keys, there's no missing the shot. You understand? Oh wow, even if she wait, you're not Keese. Oh, we have two sharp or two rangers left. Not a problem. We're in danger. We're in a lot of danger now. Making new friends. That was a risky move, but I figured I don't want to move forward and alert a whole nother group after I use Keese either. I'll take this. Probably could have taken control, but that's fine. It's not a problem right now. Hack the planet. Okay. Four turns to get over there. There's the last pod. Multiple Vipers and an Archon. Okay, definitely throwing the Mimic Beacon this turn and running as far as we possibly can. Who has it? Which one of us has the Mimic Beacon again? I don't remember who. That's okay. As long as we kill one of the Vipers, we should be fine. Brandy. 
Or we may just be able to kill them all, no problem. Mercy has it? I thought Keys had the other one. Oh well, that's fine. We'll see if we actually need it or not, is the thing. We might not. Actually, yeah, to take down an Archon, we will. But we may not even focus on taking the Archon down. Target down. We can still use Hail of Bullets afterwards to hit the Archon if we want. You know, I'll go ahead and do it. Just in case the unfortunate incident in which we have to take this Archon down comes along. Okay, let's just throw it right in the middle of the road there. Target locked. Rocket launcher from Onex. Knight, you can just basically run to extraction on your own. Wow, this Archon's gonna go down in no time. What? They can get up in one turn? Oh no. I didn't know the advanced mechs had faster recovery time. Uh oh. Oh wait, no, that's right, we have a Mimic Beacon down. What am I saying? It's fine. <laughs> Alright then, Keys. There we go. Kale? Who do I want to have this? Onex, I think, is one of the lowest ranks amongst us. On the move. That shot chance is not fantastic, though. Got it. Good. All right. Let's just get out. Let's just get out of here. Time to go. On my way. Got it covered. I'm all over it. Heading out. Okay, been on the mix. We're not leaving just yet. Okay. Roger that. Roger that. Absolutely. Location confirmed. There we go. Good job, XCOM. Everyone oh is on I'm their going. way now. And the ammo. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Gambia. No injuries. Actually, no. I think someone did. Yeah, Keys got fire injured. Fire. But. No, and someone else did too. I don't remember who it was, though. Please don't crash, XCOM. I'm getting that cursor. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was getting, like, the Windows loading cursor. I'm like, no, 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 no. Not after I did that well. 
We did really well that mission, honestly. I'm glad I saved the Mimic Beacon for later. It's something it's something I'm trying to get out of doing is overusing the Mimic Beacon early on. The most under fire Mimic Beacon decoy, as always. But yeah. This has been going so well. I just don't want it to have to end. We did get the 50% reduced scan times, but I don't know what that means. I don't know if that just means scanning for intel, or if it counts contacting other regions. If it counts contacting other regions, I don't even know if it'll affect the one we're currently doing. So... Keese did get a promotion. So she can get deep cover or untouchable. Deep cover, if you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. I don't really see that one as too useful. Untouchable. If you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you uh, during the enemy turn will miss. Yes, I love untouchable. Perfect for a ranger. Mercy's out for 20 days. Yikes. That's right. I think she did take a hit from an Archon. That means both of our rangers are out right now. Hello, got our here. sharpshooter back and got more intel. Mercy's shaken, though, which is not fun. All right, so uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Double mission episode. Uh, cool stuff. I really hope we can make it through this campaign, because it would suck to lose now just due to Avatar project completion being an issue, you I know? I like the fact that we're chasing another set of coordinates into the middle of Anyways, nowhere. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please leave a like right now.